I think this is another very strong conversation around the promise of independent living. Uh, uh, the, so that you know, everybody gets the same opportunity to live as independently as they can, as they should. Uh, I want to start uh, with Roseanne, uh, you, to talk about uh, the story of your brother and then share as, uh, from a point of view of you know, his journey towards being where he is at. <laughs> and and we, are, we are honored to listen to that story. Uh, my brother, his name is Robert Gay. He was born with an intellectual disability and schizophrenia. Um, he's been institutionalised in forensics. Every, every place known to anywhere. Um, and all he wanted to do was live by himself. Um, and Eastern Burma have achieved that for us. Um, and, and Pathways to Care and Future Focus. He would not be where he is today without those people. It was a hard journey for him to get his wish that he wanted to live independently with people coming and going in his home and cooking his food, doing his woodwork, his activities, not what they wanted him to do, not what the companies wanted him to do, not what the houses wanted him to do. He was doing what he wanted to do. I really can't thank Irma enough and Pathways to Care and Future Focus for their commitment to my brother and myself. Thank you. If you want, I could come back to you, but I would love you to talk about the last five, six years just before he got what he wanted or he got close to what he wanted. I don't want to mention names of um, companies that he was with. It was a big process to transition over to the NDIS with many meetings with Irma, Department of Human Services and um, other agencies. Um, he was put in to a home. His medication was changed without my position and consent. He ended up in the nut ward, I can say, and strapped down and chemically restrained and um, the system didn't care. The system put him there. In, in that we, with Irma, we fa Irma found him a house, provided the workers and put up with me for six years. <laughs> and that was a really hard six years for them, trust me. <laughs> um, but they achieved and Pathways to Care, once we went over to the NDIS, I enrolled Pathways to Care and they thought out of the box. They didn't stick me in any box. Um, and they've just keep supporting me and then we're with Future Focus and we're in woodwork and he has just flown. I mean, I can't. When you see your own brother strapped to a bed, do you know what I mean? Because someone in this room or in this institution has decided to chemically restrain him without his doctor's consent or my consent. How can that happen? Thank you. Very powerful and indeed it should not happen.